In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. For in him, all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Well, it's spring 2018. It's a new season. We're scouting turkeys. They're gobbling all over the place. It's time to set up the blind and head to the woods. All right, so I just pulled into my turkey hunting spot here and I got birds out in the field. Uh, there were more than one when I saw them. I see two now. Uh, so I'm gonna head over, head over the hill here and set out a blind in a chair and I know that these birds are going to be all over in this field come Monday morning, so hopefully we can get after them, uh, get the elite to, uh, to hit its mark, and uh, get some good footage. Well, it's the week before Ohio spring turkey season. Man, what a blessed opportunity to even hunt the land that I'm hunting. And uh, every year this place just pays off. It always produces. God is so good by blessing me with this place to hunt. Man, the birds are absolutely on fire this morning. They have my blind surrounded. We're up on top of the ridge. Listening, we're figuring out where these birds are. Got birds roosted in this corner. Birds roosted in that corner. Birds roosted up here and my blind's right there. Absolutely perfect. Take a look back to your very first hunt. Who were you with? What were you hunting? In that very moment, your legacy began. Whether you know it or not, we all have a ritual. It may be that lucky pair of socks or your routine before or after a hunt. Whatever it may be, trust that hunt to the most shootable and efficient bow ever developed. Honor the ritual.
We have been trusted on some of the most significant projects around the world. And now we're in the heartland of America. Our products dig deep, lift more and stack higher with a warranty you can depend on. Soon you'll realize that trusting our quality changes the world. Check our website for a dealer near you. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bows. All right, good morning. It's opening day, Ohio turkey season. Man, I'm super excited. Got Derek, he's hanging out with me today. We're gonna, we're gonna try to kill some birds, man. I, I've, I've been scouting these birds. Um, I heard over 300 gobbles on this farm Saturday morning. So, um, and it was colder, it was 27 degrees. Today it's 50. Nice these, and warm. These birds ought to be just going completely insane. So we're gonna head to the blind. I already have it set up. We're gonna, we're gonna get over there and get creative, see if we can both squeeze in this thing. And if we can't, uh, we might do something totally crazy. So we're out of here. Hopefully the Lord blesses us this morning. We can get it done. Hey, can't glad stop the flop. Let's get her done. Glad you're here, man. Issues. So we're gonna go to the truck, we're gonna drop some stuff off and come back and walk over the ridge and do some calling and some running and gunning and see if we can get at least one bird on the ground with shotguns this morning. So we're gonna give the elite a rest till it's raining and the birds are actually out in these fields, but uh, the wind's picked up, it's bright and sunny. They don't have any, any big reason to be out here uh, today, so go to the truck, perhaps get a mellow yellow, and uh, see if we got, it's about nine o'clock, yeah, it's nine o'clock, we got a couple hours left, we hopefully shoot some. Sounds good. Let's do it. Well, decided to move, the wind started picking up, only thing I could hear was the tree branches, and uh, I just had a gut feeling that these birds weren't gonna come into this corner of this field. Uh, so I walked back to the truck, and uh, I decided to walk up on this ridge and walked up on the ridge and gave a, gave a few loud calls uh, that would overpower the wind with my lynch mob. And lo and behold, one sounds off almost immediately back at us. You hear There's one up in there. I don't feel like walking. I'm walking. Necessary evil to kill the turkey.
For sales and service you can count on, choose Vanderveer Chevrolet. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by iSupply. Well, we know where this bird's at when he's gobbling. And I look at Derek and I tell Derek, we're gonna cut the distance. So we cruise across this field, we get down in this bottom, I call, the bird's closer. And we decided to still cut the distance some more due to the wind and the cover that we had to block us. Um, and as we're walking across, we take a deer path. I look down at the, look down at the deer path as I'm walking and I see a shed antler. And as I reach down, I grab the shed antler um, as Derek's filming me and I pick it up to show Derek and gobble, gobble, gobble. This boy's gobbling, he's close. It's time to set up Reggie and get ready for impact. You know, as the gun went off, the only thing I could think about as I played it back in my brain was how majestic and how beautiful this turkey was as he came in with the sun glistening on his back and shining through his fan. And finally, being able to pull the trigger and make the shot. How awesome is it that we have an opportunity to chase these majestic birds that God blessed us with? What an awesome bird. You know, we chase these majestic birds and we were talking this morning about how awesome of a bird these are you know that at one time they were going to be the national bird 
they're so smart they're still so surreal and they're gobbling and what they do and how smart they are and how good they can see they're just magnificent a magnificent animal I was blessed to share this hunt this morning with Derek and uh, Derek laid down some awesome footage we're gonna get Derek on a bird now over the next couple of days and let him score but uh, man, the Lord has blessed me my second bird of the year so far and uh, just remember guys life's so much more than about hunting you know you have to make sure that we pursue our relationship with Jesus the same way we do you know, with the with the pursuit of these animals our passion for this should be not even close to our relationship and passion for following the Lord Preparation is vital to success. But what is vital to preparation? For hunters, it's a high quality, reliable target. That is why, at Walk on Archery, we have spent hours honing our skills and perfecting our methods to help you perfect yours. From practice to play, and from play to the stand, we're with you every step of the way. Because we don't just make targets, we make better hunters. This segment of Created Outdoors is brought to you by Lynch Mob Game Calls. Call your own game. All right, well, a lot of you guys know that I had a piece of property that I sold. And the gentleman I sold it to asked me one day, he called me, he says, Doug, you have the tractor, you have the, the till, you have the plow, you have all the stuff to plant a food plot for me. Uh, would you come down and plant a food plot? And I said, yeah, I'll get you all the seed you need. You pay for the seed, I'll come down and do it. And he said, you know, that really blesses me. He goes you're more than welcome to come down anytime you want to and hunt. So I told John I was going to go down and I was going to plant food plots and that I was going to take my turkey gun and my camera down just in case. You know, so I showed up down there and before I got the tractor off the trailer, I decided to walk down into this field just to see if there were any birds out and lo and behold, they were there. All right, just pulled in my old farm to help John, the new owner, plant food plots. He's not here yet. He's not gonna be here for three or four hours. And uh, I walked down to the Eagle Ford soybean plot that I planted last year. And uh, this is basically bare dirt, but there's two giant gobblers standing in the middle of the field. So I eased back up to the truck. John told me I could hunt, uh, got permission. I'm gonna ease back down there since I already had my turkey gear in the truck. I'm gonna go see if I can shoot one of these gobblers. Well, when we heard this bird gobble, we knew we had to hurry up and get set down. Uh, there were no big trees. It wasn't the perfect spot to sit, other than it had about a 20, year, 20 yard opening. And I knew that if he would see Reggie, uh, that he would come running in and he wouldn't be so happy that there's another man in his living room. Knowing that I owned this property for five years and knew exactly what these birds like to do in the afternoon, 
I grab my gear. I just remember throwing all my gear on, grabbing the camera, grabbing the shotgun, running down the hill, trying to get around them to cut them off. I set Reggie up, sat down against the base of a tree, got the camera set up, put the lynch mob in, didn't hit the call two times before I had a double gobble and I knew they were on their way. I remember sitting there and knowing these birds are gobbling back and forth and uh, this big huge airplane flies over and uh, after it flies over everything gets really really quiet. Well I hear shuffling in the leaves, I look to my left about 100 yards and here come two sneaky peats on a mission to find out where this pretty little lady's talking. Number two turkey down. <laughs> floppage, floppage, floppage. Two o'clock in the afternoon. I think this is the first bird I've ever killed in the Ohio afternoon season. Started on Monday. How stinking awesome. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Well, these two birds come running in like kamikazes. I mean, they are on a string. The first one gets to Reggie, he jumps on his back. The second one, whoop, the gig is up. I'm sorry, buddy, but it cost your brother his life. He was delicious. Kind of bittersweet. I own this piece of property for, since 2011, I sold it this year. And, uh, Sold to a really good guy, really good family. The Lord blessed me by selling it. Still continues to give back to me by the new owner allowing me to come down and hunt. And, uh, and God's so good, man. <laughs> I'm just thankful for the opportunities that he just keeps putting on my lap. Look at this bird. Look at this bird. Look at this bird. What an amazing animal. Nice, nice big mature gobbler. Nice big mature gobbler. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Reggie. You've had a good season. Well, as I reflect on 2018 Ohio turkey season and how we're blessed to have a new season, a new spring, a new winter, a new fall, those different seasons of our life every year, you know, God's mercies are new every day. He loves us for where we've been. He loves us for where he wants us to go. And he wants to use everything that we have in our lives to bring glory to him. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, he wants everybody to know how good he is and what he can do for everyone. <laughs>